Hi friends, welcome back to the last lecture on fungal culture media. I am Sajina. We have already seen the three categories of fungal culture media and their purposes in the previous lectures. Today we can see the fourth category of fungal culture media. Fourth category it is sporulation induction medium. It is mainly inducing spore formation and cleistothesia formation or fruiting body formation in the fungus. Some important sporulation media are alpha cell yeast extract agar. It is used for mating and formation of cleistothesia. Cleistothesia is a fruiting body in histoplasma capsulatum. The ingredients are alpha cell, magnesium sulfate, potassium dihydrogen phosphate, yeast extract, agar and distilled water. Alpha cell, it is alpha cellulose. Second one is soil extract agar. It is used for the mating of histoplasma capsulatum and blastomyces dermatitis for the development of fruiting body again clistothesium. It is also used for the maintenance of fungus. The ingredients are garden soil, tap water, yeast extract, dextrose, agar and potassium dihydrogen phosphate and the pH it is 7 and it must be adjusted before autoclaving. Now we can see the fifth category that is media for biochemical reactions. These media are used for the differentiation of various fungal pathogens for their identification. The media are tetrasolium reduction medium. It is mainly used for differentiating various candida species. Tetrasolium, it is reduced by various candida species in different gradients. The ingredients are pepton, glucose, beef extract, tetrasolium, neomycin and distilled water. Tetrasolium and neomycin are added only after autoclaving and the pH it is 5.6 to 6.2. The following colors are seen in various species of genus Candida. Here for example Candida albicans it is producing pale pink color, Candida tropicalis orange pink and so on. Second type of biochemical media is carbohydrate fermentation medium. Carbohydrate fermentation medium it is also used in bacteriology to study the fermentation pattern exhibited by various bacteria. Here also we are using carbohydrate fermentation media to detect the ability of fungus to ferment various sugars. Medium contain pepton, sodium chloride and andrates indicator. And different sugars used are dextrose, lactose, maltose, sucrose, etc. And the concentration is 2%. And the gas production can be detected by using an inverted Durham's tube. And the medium inoculated is incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 to 48 hours for the production of gas and acid. Third one is carbohydrate assimilation medium. It is for some yeast and yeast like fungus. Organism they are inoculated on this carbohydrate free medium. Carbohydrate is absent in that medium and the carbohydrate containing filter paper discs are added to the medium. That is carbohydrate it is supplied in the form of filter paper disc into the medium. And a positive assimilation or utilization of carbohydrate can be determined by the presence of growth around the disc. That is if there is growth around that carbohydrate disc that means the fungal pathogen or the fungal isolate it can utilize the carbohydrate. Glucose is included as an internal quality control. Ingredients are sugar disc with 10% sugar, 2% extra pure agar, then potassium nitrate disc, yeast carbon base and yeast nitrogen base. Fourth one is urease medium. It is used to detect the ability of various yeast to produce urease enzyme and hydrolyze urea. We have already studied urease medium in bacteriology. Urease is an enzyme which is capable of splitting urea and producing ammonia. 
On producing ammonia, the pH raises and the color of the medium changes from amber to pinkish red due to phenol red indicator. It helps to distinguish between urease positive fungi and urease negative fungi and can also be used in differentiation of dermatophytes and the medium used is Christensen's urea agar. Ingredients are peptic digest, dextrose, sodium chloride, disodium potassium phosphate, sorry disodium phosphate, monopotassium phosphate, phenol red agar and distilled water. Next one is rapid urease test. Rapid urease test it gives results within minutes hence it is called rapid test. Here a sterile swab stick is taken and it is and sweep it across each colony and dip in Christensen's urea agar base and then place the swab in test tube containing 3 drops of 1 percentage benzalkonium chloride. Plug the tube with cotton and incubate at 45 degrees Celsius. Examine after 10, 15, 20 and 30 minutes for color change from yellow to purple. This indicates urease production by cryptococcus species. Next one is chrome agar candida medium. It's a chromogenic medium that's a color producing medium and it is selective and differential medium used for identification of various candida species and other yeast like organisms. It can be used for the presumptive identification of medically important yeast like organisms based on their colony morphology, particularly the color produced. Based on direct detection of specific enzymatic activities by adding multiple chemical dyes. It shortens the time for presumptive identification. It allows easier detection of multiple yeast species present in clinical samples with mixed infections. Incubation it is mainly 48 to 72 hours at 30 degree. Here we can see different species of candida. They are producing different colors. And this chrome agar malassezia, it's an agar which is used for or it's a medium used for isolation of malassezia furfur. Here the colonies are large, pale pink, pale to pink in color and they are wrinkled colonies. That is malassezia furfur. It can be isolated by using chrome agar malassezia. Next one is CGB agar that is canavanine glycine dromothymol blue that is CGB agar. It is a significant tool for biotyping of various species of cryptococcus. It is used to differentiate cryptococcus gatti from other species of the genus. The principle it is mainly based on the ability of this cryptococcus gatti to grow in presence of L canavanine and to assimilate glycine as the sole source of carbon. Media has two different solutions, solution A and solution B. Here the solution A contains the following ingredients and the solution B contains sodium bromothymol, NaOH and distilled water. Then add 2 ml of solution B to 88 ml of distilled water. That is we have to prepare solution B first. Then 2 ml of solution B is taken and it is added to 88 ml of distilled water. Then add 2 gram of agar autoclave. Then cool to a temperature of 55 degrees Celsius. Add 10 ml of solution A to this. Then mix well so that 100 ml will be the resulting volume and pour it into small tubes for making slants. That's all about the fungal culture medium. Hope you all understand fungal culture media. Thank you for your patient listening. Have a nice day.